My name's Alea Alea. Uh, I was born in Kakuma refugee camp. I grew up in Brisbane and I'm a Sydney Swan footballer. You come in every morning to work and you go to battle with, you know, 20, 22 of your best mates and, um, you know, win, lose or draw, it's just, it's just a great feeling. Probably early on in pre-season, uh, the Dennis, the welfare manager, came up to me and said that they were going to add another house to the housing program and Paps moved in and um, we pretty much clicked, <laughs> we all clicked straight away. Um, we, we love our FIFA, you know, we just love sport and I guess that's where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> FIFA battle. Um, I suppose at the start I didn't do much cooking and sort of showed me the ways. He used to cook up this carbonara. It was always great. It's his go-to. Oh, he's, he's actually pretty good. Yeah, he's just, he's grown into a man to be honest. I'm, kind of, I'm sort of kind of proud of him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was obviously great fun. Always just a happy place to be. I started probably playing Oz kick when I was about four or five. Um, just sort of doing what every little kid does around in Bunyip. Just you grow up playing footy and it's obviously a lot different to Alir and it's obviously a great story how he's come. Uh, it probably wasn't until I was probably 16 years old that um, I started playing AFL where um, you know coming from Kakuma the only game we knew was soccer. Um, I came here, I was probably about nine, nine or eight years old when I arrived in Australia. You know family obviously left Sudan it was when there was a little bit of war going on and you know we just you know family wanted to be safe and you know, we went to the Kalkuma refugee camp and that's where me and my younger brother were born and you know, one of my special memories was we used to get a balloon and um, grab some old clothes, wrap it around the balloon until it's a soccer ball and we'd, um, we'll make three or four of them and then reserve others because you know, there's times where it would pop straight away and then you have to get the other one ball in and just, you know, as a young kid, like that, 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 that's all we did, just play sport. It's, it's an amazing story and you just, yeah, you're just a lot more grateful. You can't really explain what, oh, what, what do you, why am I complaining about the things I'm complaining about when he's grown up, um, gone through, he's gone through, and um, to see him here today and playing at AFL and uh, how he plays the game is, it's just an amazing story. Yeah. Footy sort of gave me the pathway to meet, you know, a lot of a lot of friends, and because um, you know, coming here I didn't know English. It just made me connect and feel welcome with other kids. I still remember, um, you know, my 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 mum saying that you know my son's gonna play sport one day, and you know she'll tell her, you know her sisters and my uncles and things like that. Just because I was, had so much energy and I was I was always outside playing sport, you know, until the sun goes down. So you know that was the, you know that was my dream to play sport, and you know <laughs> who would have thought I'd be playing in Australia playing AFL. <laughs> My name's Alea Alea and I'm proud to be African-Australian. <laughs>